Shalom, 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 Yashallah. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash, Koloim La, Abanawa Alahaya Nawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Baharacha Kodash, Shalom to the Lord's elect. The 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native American Indians, and Israelite faunas, Hebrew Israelites who are scattered among all nations, looking like the other nations and speaking in tongues. Shalom to all of you and to the rest of the multitude, the one third. The other Israelite men, Israelite women, Israelite children. And double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone. All right. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works. Low willing, this lesson will be edifying and plain upon the tables. To the house of mourning, to the house of fate. <laughs> All right. So I have these pictures and some more articles related to this topic. All right. Um, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Beauty can't buy common sense. That's the title of this lesson. Do the spirit. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Beauty can't buy common sense, right? Beauty can't buy the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because that's the beginning of wisdom and knowledge, right? The fear of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. In other words, right? This chick right here, she's pretty stupid, pretty, but stupid, shoddish. All right. There's so many videos out there of starting with the apostles, the elders, the bishops of Great Millstone, the men on down. Constantly warning, constantly warning, warning and warning and warning. Never trust thy enemy. Don't take this jump shot. If you take it, you're going to end up like her. People like her and people are still taking it. So do we feel any pity for a charmer that was bitten, bitten with a serpent? Right. Do we feel pity for those that goes and run around with sinners? No, nah, we don't. All right, we don't feel sorry. So right here, father trying to figure out what causes his daughter to look like this after getting a jump shot. The father is stupid as hell too. No, no wisdom, no knowledge. You failed your daughter. You failed your daughter. All right. You failed as a father. Breaking. Forced, forced to get three jump shots. To receive Medicare, 23-year-old Alexis Loren Lorenzi. So it sounds like she could be Northern Kingdom. All right. I don't know, but that's the name of the chick, apparently. Is now fighting for her life. So it say here, no jacks, no care. Wait, I'm using cold words here. No VX, no care. That's why the spirit has been has been upon starting with our elders, apostles and bishops of Great Millstone, you know, telling us to the spirit, like, hey, become your own physician. Do not rely on these phys these physicians of no value. Right. Because their poison will only harm you. OK, you know, learn how to. Uh, put together some remedies, some tea, some 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 juices, some herbs. Okay, you know, get into working out, right? Have your body be active so you can sweat out the 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 bacteria. I guess you could say that that's that's not good out of you. Try to detox from time to time. Get into herbs, drinks that helps you with detoxing, and you won't have to go to this damn devil. 
for his shit. And then most importantly, as a Hebrew is like, serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. No jump shot, no care. So she had to get three jump shots. Within 10 minutes, she was blind. And within 10 minutes of getting three of these jump shots, she became blind in both eyes. Now she's fighting for her life. Doctors are baffled to the cause since it can't be the <laughs> this can't be the jump shot. All right, before we move on, man, let me get a scripture right quick, man. These physicians are no value, man. Physicians of no value. Job 13 and 4. This is the book of Job, chapter 13, verse 4, KJV, King James Version. But ye are foregoers, foregoers, foregoers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value, right? You're all physicians. You're all those who claim to practice the knowledge of meds, right? Health of no value, right? And you get this in a good news translation, right? Check this out. Joe 13 to 4. <laughs> the doctors are like, we're baffled. We don't know why. You know, this happened to her. <laughs> Man. Alright. So this is the good news translation. Job chapter 13, verse 4. You cover up your ignorance with lies. You are like doctors who can't heal, who can't heal anyone. No jump shot, no care. So she had to get three, three pointers, the jump shots. Within 10 minutes, she was blind in both eyes. Now she's fighting for her life. Now this is the point. <laughs> Doctors are baffled as to the cause since it can't be the jump shots, a.k.a. clot shots. Make you blind shots. Okay. They are doctors who can't heal anyone. They can't, man. There's only one true physician. And that's your how about Shmi All right. The true God, the true Messiah. All right. Not man, especially a physician of no value, a doctor who can't heal. All right. So this is the old girl, right? Pretty dumb, right? Pretty, but damn, she's stupid as hell. Look, all right? Do I feel bad? No. Do other brothers feel bad? No. Um, so this is before and after, right? The after, woke woke up to see I'm worse due to the mal malpractice of this hospital. That's what happens when you're a woman Especially a Hebrew Israelite woman that one, you don't fear the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Shai, and two, you don't want to, to be under the authority of a man of understanding, a man of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. Because if you if she was, this brother would have made it very clear to her, hey, don't get that shit. Alright? Because of XYZ. You see what happens when an Israelite woman don't have a head of understanding, right? The head of the woman is, is who? The man. So the head of the Israelite woman is the Israelite man, especially a man of understanding. Her father failed her, all right? Um, the executive summary, this is one of the most horrific jump shots injury stories I've ever heard of. Alexis Lorenzi is a 23 year old young woman with a history of PNH, I'm gonna say the abbreviation, since January, 2024. All right, let's see. The introduction uh, at the top, it says she has no insurance. Mm. Her medical workers and fundraiser link is in the thread. She has no insurance. The best insurance that any Israelite can have. 
is the is 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 uh the life insurance of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, a divine one. Introduction: This is a very serious jump shot injury, and Alexis is now fighting for her life in the hospital. After her jump shot injury, you CI health did nothing to elevate her condition they just gave her medications for dealing with the pain <laughs> yo they don't care about us man <laughs> they don't care about us and who, who 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 am i talking about when i say they this devil system that was the system that was created by the wicked elites of the society Especially their medical system, their so-called doctors, their so-called physicians. It was designed to harm, delete, injured, not to cure or help. Alright? So you see you see the point here, right? Now, I do want to get some stuff from uh natural news, right? So this is one of the Three from Natural News articles related to this topic. And I'm going to leave the links in the description box. The WHO, World Health Organization, approves Curious George, right? The MP Ox, Curious George, the King Kong jump shot experiment. Experiment on adults and children in. Africa, despite knowing it causes, despite knowing it causes cardiac, cardiac events. All right. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's no point. You know, the article pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, the, the, the title. Okay. If you want to read more into it, you can. The link is in the description box, but you get the point here, man. All right. None of these shits are good, man. All right. When you look at this syringe, this needle. Think of a actual viper, a poisonous snake. This is the snake's fang. What is known to drip down, drip from the fangs of such poisonous snakes? What does it does? What does it do to its prey body and its blood? It paralyzes them, right? It it. it it uh, disrupts their 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 organs, its its function, how it operates, its senses. It clogs up the blood, kind of looks like rubber jello, Lee, right? Okay. Um, let's get another one. That was one. Uh, it's another one up here in Kansas City. Well, this is one of them too. Here, let's get this one. Woman developed psychosis or sit no psychosis, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, after getting infected with the AZ COVID nineteen jump shot. If you know what I'm talking about, all right. I'm trying to use cold words here. See this thing right there? Poison. Poison. Okay. No good. No bueno. All right. Then you come up here. Here we go. Kansas sues P. Feaser for misleading the public about the risk of its Mr. Na. M. R. Na. Mr. Na. CV19 or juices. All right. So let's get this scripture right quick. Right. Remember this right here. You're looking at something known as a bottle. A bottle that's supposed to contain some kind of liquid. Right. Re remember this. Remember this image. Right. A bottle. Right. The one you saw down here too. A bottle. Right. A bottle, right? Because I'm going to get a scripture. Okay. Uh, this is in Psalms very quick. Psalms 
58, I think three or four. Okay. We'll start at verse three. Psalms chapter 58, verse three and four. Verse three, the wicked, right? The sons of the wicked. The Edomites, the so-called white people, right? The Caucasians. The wicked are a strain from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So the so-called white people, right? The Caucasian race, speaking lies is their native tongue. That's that's what they're fluent at. Lying. All right. So for an example, when they say that such thing like this is good for you. Really, they lying to your ass. They don't know how to tell the truth. They're a bunch of liars, a nation of liars. Verse four, their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the death adder that stoppeth her ear. So their poison, their philosophies, right? Their doctrines, right? Let's say, for an example, their medical philosophies, right? Is like the poison of a serpent. The poison of an actual poisonous serpent, a snake, a viper, a black mamba. Now, when you go into this word poison, right? Strong's H2534. Chema. 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 Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Che, che, ma. Um, so when you go into the outline, right? You have heat, you have rage, right? I want to go over here. Bottles. When you look up bottles, a container typically made of glass or plastic. And with a narrow neck used for storing drinks or other liquids. What is this? A, a glass bottle with a narrow neck used to contain uh, liquids or, or other liquids. Remember? Come on, man. You cannot say. You cannot say. That the Bible is not the truth. Okay? Our answers is in the Bible. Their poison. So, for an example, in this instance, right, uh, today's lesson related to the, the, the three-pointers, right? The jump shots. Their bottles, right? Their bottles. Their glass bottles that has the jump shot liquid in it, Right? Is like the poison of a serpent. Is, is making a comparison. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Adder is another way of saying a snake, a venomous serpent, a cobra, a viper, right? So when you look at natural geographic, you know, documentaries on TV, YouTube, you know, when you look at the comparison. Of the people that took the, the the shot, and when you look at a animal, for an example, that was bitten by a death adder, a viper, a serpent, a, a, a poisonous venomous snake, right? Their blood looks quite similar. It's jelloed up a bit, right? It's not really liquid anymore. It's kind of hardened a little bit. Okay. The organ system is not functioning properly. Okay, his body's starting to shut down, starting to lose some of his senses, like his ability to see, to taste, to feel, to move, to hear, and etc. Right? Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the death adder that stoppeth her ear. All right, so I'm gonna get one more. The book of Sirach. Chapter 12, start at verse 10.
the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10 through uh, 10 to 14. In a KJV Apocrypha, never trust thine, your enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Right? So when you don't properly polish, take care, maintain, let's say metal, right? Eventually it's gonna rust. Let's say you leave out let's say you leave your your bicycle, your bike outside. It's been raining, right? And then it gets hot. The the chain for the star so you can pedal, it's just gonna get rusty. The handlebar, whatever is metal, it's gonna it's gonna get rusty. Alright? These damn Edomites, their wickedness is like is, is as iron that rusts. It's very contagious, man. Alright? Very contagious. So we are to never trust our enemies, especially a Edomite. Okay? And they work in many fields, especially in the medical field. Oh damn. You just definitely you definitely want to stay the hell stay the hell way over there. Stay away from there. If you don't got to be there, don't be there. All right. If you can take herbs, you can drink some tea, put some soup together, you know, Ponte Vicks, you know, take a hot bath, you no, know, you no, know, some, some homemade remedies, they do it. All right. If this damn devil tries to threaten you that, you know, you can't continue working at a particular job site unless you get the, the jump shots, hey. Just pray to you. How about me? I was shy to, you know, to, to look out for you and just be patient. All right. Never trust our damn enemies, man. Never, especially Edomite, man. This is verse 11. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Remember, right, in Psalms chapter 58, verse uh. Was it three? How it says how they go astray from the womb, speaking lies, right? So, like, even though the, the our enemy may put on the persona of being a lamb, very peaceful, harmless, right? He goes crouching. He seems harmless. Yet take good heed and be aware of him. Better keep your eyes on him, all right? He's like a serpent, man. He's like a snake. Though he, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed of him. Take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. So this truth will help open our eyes to see the truth, to better see right through this damn devils, that entire nation, as who they truly are. They're wicked, man. They're contagious. That, that entire nation of Edom is contagious, man. They're, they're like living, walking pestilences, man. Cancer to life here on planet Earth. Okay? Beware of them, man. Beware of, of, of these damn devils, man. All right? Now, verse 12, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to get, matter of fact, yeah, verse 12. Set him not by thee, least when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, least he seek to take thy seat. So as a Hebrew Israelite, a Hebrew Israelite man. The last person you want as your right hand man sitting next to you is a so-called white man. Because in because this whole time in the back of his uh, back of his mind, he's trying to figure out how can he take your place of seat, your throne, your seat, your position. How can he conquer you? How can he take you out? How can he, how can he kill you? Okay. Set him not by thee. Least when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. You never want to have a so-called white man. And I'm not talking about skin color. I'm talking about nationality. Okay. 
You don't want to have a so-called white man, a so-called Caucasian, right, as your right-hand man. Hell no. Mm -mm. Least he, least he seek, right? He desire to take thy seat, your position, and thou, at the last, remember my words and be prick there, therewith, right? So. For an example, you Edomites, well, well just like it, uh, you, you Israelites, that's putting your trust in this damn devil. For an example, I wouldn't be surprised in the back of her mind, she'd probably be like, damn, I should have never took this shit. I should have never, you know, uh, you know, listened to my, 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 my father or I, sh I should have listened to those men, to, to those prophets on YouTube. I should have listened, right? She's regretting it, especially when that C hip is now mandatory. That the MOTB, that mark of the beast. Oh man, a lot of whew, a lot of people are gonna be pricked thereof. Man, they're gonna regret it. Um, verse thirteen: Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such has come nigh while beast? So who's gonna feel bad? When someone is, you know, playing with a damn snake, you come nigh, you come next to a snake trying to play with it, trying to make it dance and shit, and then it, it bites you. And now, you know, you, you know, becoming paralyzed, you in pain and shit. You over, over here playing with a crocodile's mouth, and then it grabs you by your hand, your leg, whatever limb, and start doing a death roll, and now you just lost a limb. You're trying to play with a lion, a tiger, a timber wolf. And they bite your ass back. Ain't nobody told you to go play with such things, stupid. Okay? So guess what? Verse 14. So one that go with to a sinner. So for an example, you want to go to these damn wicked, to their uh to their professional trap houses, aka hospitals, right? You want to be around in the midst of of Edomites, so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him and his sins, who will pity? So we ain't gonna feel pity for any of you Hebrew Israelites that wants to be buddy buddy and put your trust in our greatest enemy, other than uh, the average Israelite woman right here in America, right? She that's my enemy shall see it, but a so-called white, a so-called white person too, a so-called white man. Who's going to feel pity for y'all when we clearly been telling y'all as a body, starting with our elders, apostles, and bishops, hey, don't trust a so-called white man. Don't trust a so-called white man. They're wicked. They have the perpetual hatred, the everlasting hatred. They're racist towards us. They don't like us. They really don't. And then boom, now you get caught up in the judgment with these damn devils, man. All right. We're going to get this in the BNT. With that little woman. So this is a good news translation for the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10 through uh, 14 instead. 14. Good news translation. Never trust an enemy. Very plain upon the tables. Never trust an enemy. His wickedness is as destructive as rust. Watch out and be on guard against him, even if he acts ever so humble. So they're physicians of no value, for example. They're acting no humble, like, hey, you know, we, we came up with a solution. We know what's best for you. Take this uh, particular chayma, uh, right? This particular poison, this bottle, right? They're presenting this in a, in a, in a meek way. Right, but really, man, they're a bunch of damn devils. Watch out and be on guard against him, even if he acts ever so humble. He puts on a persona of being a lamb, harmless. He is like a metal mirror that rustles away if you don't keep it polished. Seat an enemy at your right hand, and the next thing you know, he will be trying to get your own place of honor. Put him next to you 
and he will overthrow you. Then you will realize the truth of my words and be stung with regret when you remember them. I wouldn't be surprised she and everyone knows that took this devil's jump shot are regretting it. They're stung with regret. No excuse, man. We all over the Internet. We all over YouTube. And this is a hot topic that we speak as a body. Don't take this shit. And look. She lost a damn eye. She can't see now. And she's in, in pain, man. Let's see. Uh, then you will realize. Like right down here. Then you will realize the truth of my words. And be stung with regret. When you remember them. Verse 13. Nobody. Feel sorry for snake charmers or wild animal tamers who get bitten. And nobody will feel sorry for you if you run around with sinners and get involved in their wrongdoing. And nobody will feel sorry for you if you run a, if you run a, if you run around with sinners and you get involved in their wrongdoing. We don't feel sorry. You've been warned many, many, many times. Low willing, this lesson was edifying, playing upon the tables. Hopefully it opened up someone's eyes. Like, you know what? Yeah, it's clear that, you know, these jump shots is 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 clear. You know, it's, it's no good. All right. Repent. Yashala, Hebrew Israelites, so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native American Indians. Repent, see how Bashmiel was shy or perish. Learn the hard way. All right, so I'm going to close out by giving the much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Baharacha Kodash, Koloim La, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Baharacha Kodash. All right, Shalom, Kwam Yashala, on to the next, Lord.